The bullet projectile is a simple cylinder of 22 caliber diameter. We chose this shape due to its simplicity for contact to the pendulum. The dimensions here are in millimeters. The launch tube was purposely made rather long so a soft spring instead of a stiff spring could be used to launch the projectile. A short launch tube with a stiff spring can cause a near instantaneous event and we wanted to better visualize this particular event in the graphs which you will see. This tube is a meter long with a hole cut for the bullet and a launcher disc. This image shows the exploded view. The disc serves as an end attachment for the firing spring while allowing for contact and release of the bullet projectile. We assigned a very low weight to the launcher disc relative to the bullet so very little energy is wasted accelerating the disc and most of it goes to accelerating the bullet projectile. The pendulum is simply a block which we attach to a rod with a very low weight and the rod is mated on a bearing to a block which is fixed in space. You can select a component and directly assign a mass just for the motion analysis. We clicked on the pendulum bob and go to Tools, Mass Properties, and check the Assigned Mass Properties item. You can see we assigned 500 grams to the pendulum. The same goes for the bullet projectile. We assigned it as 2.59 grams. Of course we did this for the launcher disc and the pendulum rod as well, but we assigned a very, very low mass to those components. Every component is mated to provide initial conditions to the motion analysis. You can see this in the feature manager tree by noting there are no minus signs just to the left of any of the components. We mated the launcher and pendulum to a sketch so you can vary the launcher angle, which you can see here. This is just a handy way to change the firing angle if you move the pendulum far from the launcher tube. In the motion interface we suppress the mates shown in grayed out color with the red arrows pointing to them. This is the mate which sets the pendulum vertical. This one sets the launcher disc position relative to the end of the launcher tube. This concentric mate between the bullet and the tube ID is also suppressed. And the coincident between the launcher disc and the bullet is here.